it's Mandy Ligger from Edwards Pharmacy, and this is Around Town with Mandy. This week, I have stopped into the best kept secret on Banjo Lane. I am here at the Bull and Goat Brewery. That's right, a brewery right in Centerville. Little did you know. So, one of the local events that's coming up is their grand opening. It's on October the 29th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right here on 206 Banjo Lane, the best kept secret, I told you. Um, Live music, games, food, and great craft brewed beer. And I'm going to get the inside secret of exactly what's about the Bull and Goat Brewery. How are you? Howdy. Fantastic. So introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about this building and what happens here. Well, thanks, Mandy, for stopping by, first off. So uh, here at the Bull and Goat Brewery, we brew beer. And uh, we've been doing it for a few years now. Started off home brewing Mm -hmm. and moved into, uh, you know, something just a little bit bigger. Not too much bigger, though, as you can see. So uh, we started looking into licensing and uh, what it takes with the town in order to set up everything to be able to get a brewery going. Right. And it took us about six months. And about May of 2016, we got all the approvals and we got this place rocking and rolling. Perfect. And when are you here or when can they get here? Or? Yeah, so the day jobs are uh, totally awesome and keep us occupied a bit for sure. But uh, we do the farmer's market on Saturdays. We typically host a growler night on Thursdays. And, you know, message us on Facebook. If we're around, we'd be happy to fill up a growler. And the Facebook page? Bull and Goat Brewery. Perfect. Okay. So, and exactly Bull and Goat Brewery, where does the name come from? Okay. So... I have uh, my partner, who you'll meet later. Okay. Um, I call him the old goat because uh, he's quite honorary. And uh, he refers to me as the bull sometimes. So, you know, we, we go back and forth. So and it works. It works. Perfect. It works. Perfect. So I'm here with the other half of the Bull and Goat Brewery, and we're going to see exactly how the beer is made. How are you? Doing well. I'm Jeff Putman. Perfect. Nice to meet you. And you're going to give us the insides of exactly how this ice cold beer is made. Exactly. So where do we start? So we actually start with the green, mm. which is um, is barley. Um, so we take barley, we get it in from our supplier, and we run it through this mill, which is uh, basically a converted table saw uh, that we put some uh, pulleys and belts on. It. So we run grain through here. Um, once that grain is milled, we come over and we start working, um, brewing the beer actually. So in this pot, it's called the hot liquor tank. We okay. actually uh, fill it up with water and bring it up to about uh, 166 degrees. Uh, we transfer it into this, which is the, called the mash tun. Okay. And that's where we add the water and the milled grain. And that's, so the mix goes yeah, in there. Yeah, so it gets in there. It, it turns into, a, looks like oatmeal really. Right, right. And it sits in there for about an hour. And it leaches out all the sugars and the proteins out of the grain. And then we transfer that liquid, which is called wort, Uh into this kettle. And this is the brew kettle, the boil kettle. This is where we heat it up. This is where the beer happens. This is where it happens. So once we transfer the wort into this, we heat more water up, Mm. run it back through here. And then what's called sparging is we run the water through there real slow and back into here. So we do like a double set on Uh that, fill this up to about 40 gallons, and start boiling. Uh, That's when we throw in hops. That's when you make the mix. Yeah, that's when we're actually boiling off liquid to make the wort uh, the proper weight, uh, sugar to water ratio. Very interesting. So once that happens, we know when to stop it by measuring the sugar content. Uh, We cool it down. Mm And we put it into this fermenter. Okay. Once this fermenter is full, this is about a 75 gallon fermenter, we add the yeast, cap it, airlock it, and walk away from it for four or five days. So it sits, it has to sit for it several sits days. There and it, um, yep, the yeast converts the sugars to alcohol, byproduct of CO2, it blows off. Uh, after all the conversion's done, we take a sample, make sure the alcohol content's where we need it to be, and then we transfer. The beer, uncarbonated, right. into the kegs for carbonation. We take this and transfer it into the kegs. 
And then we have a manifold system here. Uh huh. And we just force carbonate CO2 into the kegs at 30 psi. Got and it. And we let it sit there for two days under 30 psi pressure. At the end of that, we take them all off and it's over. That's beer now. Now it's beer. Now we have beer. Now we have beer. And then we hook it up to the tap system, which is a little bit less pressure. It's about 12 psi. Uh -huh. Now we can drink. So here we are at the final product, the tap. Can you tell us what you have on tap here? Sure. We've got, uh, got an IPA. We call it 67. It's 6.7% uh, alcohol. It's 67 IBUs on the uh, bitterness chart. Sort of with the name. Right. It's real easy. Uh, Frank Amber Ale. It's a real easy drinking malty English ale. About 5.5% alcohol. And uh, it's our number one seller. So we're about two to one. Everybody seems to like the amber, so. Got it. So and we've got a porter that will be out at about the first or second week in October. And that's so a new That's new a new flavor. one for us. Okay, so it hasn't been revealed it Hasn't yet. been. We've been uh, testing it. Okay, so. okay, so the secret's still in the it's chat. Still, it's still in. Okay, so if you're looking for a nice cold drink, to me, it's got a little fall taste, so it falls upon us. And you want to check out the brewery. It's on Banjo Lane. Best kept secret, I told you. Also, it is available at Doc's on tap. Little shout out to Doc's. So if you're having dinner, you want to test the local beer, check out Doc's as well as their Facebook page and it announces on Thursdays their growler nights. So remember, the Bull and Goat Brewery on Banjo Lane. We'll see you next week.